Hi and welcome back to my channel. Uh, I'm Eno. In today's video, I'm going to be showing a, a quick method of uh, transferring files from uh, uh, from your computer to a, a Cisco switch. So I'm going to be using a secure copy. Uh, the most common way of uh, doing a, a file transfer is uh, using TFTP, but most of the time you need um, like an application. You need to download um, uh, an application to do your TFTP transfer. So I'll be using Windows 10, which has a built-in uh, function that can allow you to do a, a secure copy uh, transfer. So right now I'm uh, I'm sitting on my switch. So I did a factory reset on it, so there's no configurations on it. So I'm not, I'm not gonna do uh, I'm not gonna run into the, the uh, default configuration dialog so i'll just do um i'll add an ip address on here and then there's a few more other items that you need in order to do the transfer so i'll start with the uh, adding an ip address so i already have the commands i'm just going to paste them so all i'm doing here is just creating a inter interface vlan one and then i put in an ip address of 10.0.0.1 and then uh, you'll need a username you also need to enable uh, triple a and then you need to make sure you have uh, uh, crypto keys enabled uh, before you can uh, do the secure copy because it's going to be encrypted when you transfer the files so we'll do um, so the commands I already have here, I'll create a username uh, with the password. So the username is going to be uh, Momo and the password CCNA. I'll enable triple A. I'll enable uh, authentication, um, which allows the user to be authenticated. That's going to be doing the file transfer. And then you need to authorize the user to use the exact shell to, to, to run the commands. So I'll, I'll press these commands here. And as you can see here, the, this line enables a uh, secure copy on the, on the switch. So I'm gonna copy that. And then I'm gonna paste that, paste that on, in the switch. And then before you uh, generate this, uh, the keys, you need to make sure you have, your, you have a domain. So I'll put in a domain here. Uh, momo.com now i can uh, generate the keys so the command is going to be crypto key generate rsa uh, modulus 1024 and the key is generated which also enables SSH, ssh which is needed for the file transfer so and here so, so the version of the switch, so you can see what I'm running, is a Cisco 3560. Okay, so that that's pretty much it as far as what's needed on the switch to get it to um, uh, to accept uh, secure copy transfers. So I will show the flash to see what files are on there before I transfer the files. So normally you would, you would use this to transfer your iOS files for upgrading your switches or routers, but I'm just going to use a, a small file here. So I'm going to use a small text file. It's not, it's not here right now. It's going to be a small text file I have. So let me go ahead and show the text. So it's gonna be the name of the text file is text underscore doc, and I just have a, some random text in it. It's a small file. This is what I'm gonna transfer from my, my PC. It's on my desktop, and then I'm gonna transfer this to the uh, to the switch. Okay, so to run, so there's a one line command you'll run on the uh, on your PC. So I'll go to my PC real quick and uh, show. That I already have a, an IP address set in the same subnet as the switch. 
So if you just I click config, I have this is what I have set up. So the IP address on the switch is a dot one, and this is a dot two. And you can do we can do a quick ping ten dot ten dot zero dot zero dot one, and I'm able to ping the router. And from the, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm able to ping the switch, and from the switch I can ping the, the PC. So now we are ready to do the transfer. So on the on this on the on the PC I'm using a Windows 10. Um, I need a PowerShell. So I'll open PowerShell. And then I'm gonna have to go to where the file is. The text file is on my desktop. So I'll go to uh, Okay, it's in this SCP folder here, I think. So I'll change to uh, the SCP folder. And there is the file. So this is the file right here. And this is what I'm going to transfer. So if you look at the switch again, so if you look at the switch again, the flash, the test file is not there. So since the file is not there, once we transfer it, the tr transfer that test file, it should show. So I'm gonna run that one line command on my uh, Windows 10. And this is the, the command right here. It's gonna be SCP, the name of the file you're transferring, the username on the that's configured on the uh, switch or the router, add sign and then the IP address of your switch or router then flash this just tells the um, the switch where to put that file so it's going to be put on the flash and it's going to be named uh, text underscore doc okay so I just copy this and paste it And then just press enter to so have it pasted in PowerShell. And once you run it, just asking, it's asking you if you want, you're sure you want to connect, you just type in yes. And then and then here you have to type in the password for that user that you configured. So we configured CCNA. So you, once you type the password, Since the, the file is so small, it's already done. So it added the, the it added the remote device, and then it transferred you know transferred the, the file and, and closed the connection. So we'll, we'll verify on the switch that the file was transferred. So what we we need to do is just go back to the switch and see if the file is there. So it says a message arrived from this a device, which is the PC, uh, using SSH. So we just we we'll just check it, see if it, the file is here at all. So I'm not seeing it, but it's right. I see it right here. So the file was actually transferred. So the test document was transferred successfully because if you come to the previous message when we ran the uh, we, sh we checked the, the flash that that uh, file wasn't there but now it's there okay so that's how you do a transfer if you if you're unable to do TFTP and or if you want to do a, secu a secure you want to use a secure means of uh, transferring your files from your computer to a to your remote uh, network, network device, be it a router or a switch, uh, you can use secure copy and, and that's how you do it. Uh, thanks for watching. See you in my next video.